right? Call hello Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone rule well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. <coughs> Peace and mercy to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Um, this is something that I want to kind of go into because there are many different avenues that uh, this thing can take. And, uh, you know, uh, first, let, let's, uh, before I do, let's go into a, let's get a scripture real quick. All right, straight to the point at the top, Genesis 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which Yahweh power had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every fruit, I'm sorry, every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree, fruit of the trees of the garden. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it neither shall ye touch it lest ye die all right and fast forward um you know the serpent kind of spit a little you know spun the narrative a little bit and was like man you ain't gonna die like for real for real you know you just gonna you're gonna be like god you're gonna do this you're gonna do that you know he he spoke with his forked tongue his proverbial forked tongue because in actuality this was a a man all right pre preaching another philosophy the lord gave adam order and charge over the animals all right and he made eve a help meet okay unto adam and she brought some weird way of living unto adam okay different philosophy different different everything all right uh completely opposed to what yahweh had uh, given adam hearkened unto that okay so the point i uh in all of this was that the serpent was subtle and you fast forward you know the serpent for uh into cain and to esau okay there's that same very subtle sneaky spirit underhanded and he is the prince and the power of the air you can add that to it as well okay so as long as they are able to control what is presented to people okay they can stand with those or give an attempt to stand with enchantments uh, but that's not working anymore but yeah in, in the meantime for the sake of this video it, you know it, it that is what they do and not only have are they doing it with these fake ai stories now um this is not something new right this is uh we look back on i, I can't remember the name of the operation but uh, usually the, the the U.S. or Babylon would get uh, into a country and and um, you know have a radio station, and then that radio station would plant ideas. You know, women didn't know that they wanted to, I, I, and we'll just say something random like women didn't know that they wanted to wear hats on Fridays, right? And now they'll say, you know, wearing a hat on Friday would be a a, a, a symbol of freedom and, and you should be able to do this, blah, 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 blah. Now there's a fight and there's an issue where there never was an issue. And, you know, the, the native folks and the, and, and the people in charge are like, where in the world is this coming from? Okay, these are things that they do. And then, uh, or, or that, or that you have the agent provocateurs uh, that go into you know otherwise peaceful protests okay so you'll have the the uh the grassroots of blm right the 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 very first uh i guess iteration of what blm was where they were you know marching and trying to take care of uh, uh of you know black folks mainly mainly black men that were being uh unlawfully gone and gunned down or basically murdered um then you had a age of provocateur slip in there and now it is this corporation a white owned corporation with a black face on it and then they go and they do you know vandalize and and burn down businesses and then the black face gets the blame but there are you know entities behind the scenes that are, are making that happen right and then of course satan is the prince in the power of the air right so he controls the narrative and it doesn't matter how many pe how many times people you know grassroots level say this is not what it is what is being mass produced 
is the narrative that they control, which can be dangerous or which I'm mean, not can be, which is dangerous. Also, because if you want to fast forward until when they really try to persecute those who uh, believe in Yahweh Shai, you know, the, uh, the Hebrews, e Hebrew Israelites, those who have woken up, they are going to call you black Hebrew Israelites to control the narrative. And there, there's going to be some AI stories created, you know, and, and some fake uh, and in some 501c3 camps that will do things to incite riot or incite violence or cause certain legislation to be pushed. All right, so uh, I've talked enough. Let me let let's let's let her do her thing. You've seen white supremacist propaganda. Same goes for this one and this one, this one too, and this one, which is the one that I initially fell for. I read the headline; it moved me emotionally. I wanted to learn more. And in Googling, I discovered that no, the story's fake. This image is AI generated. Every image, every face you just saw, does not exist on this earth. It's just a construction. This account is doing something similar to stochastic terrorism, which is when you incite political violence, but you use plausible deniability because you don't outright tell people, hey, go commit some crimes for me, please. No, you move them. You move them through created, fabricated stories. You move them through your hateful, hostile speech. What they're doing is trying to incite racial violence. The person running this account likely fantasizes about a race war. And in creating these stories, they're presenting themselves as a member of the black community. I would bet my life that they are not. And Dax News. If you are watching this, because I know that you track your tags, I know that you watch every single video calling you out, and I know that you try to get it taken down. Prove me wrong. Come out. Come out and show that you don't have my skin color. Come on. I'd even go as far as to say that it is not a single person running an account. It is a certain maybe three-letter agency that may be behind this account and many others. More to come. You're not creating these stories for emotional catharsis. You're a coward that hides behind your computer and you're hoping that content hungry creators on here will pick up your stories and use them to go viral and you tell them that you don't want that but of course you do you want to spread your rhetoric so if you are a creator watching this that has spread any story from dax news please consider taking it down what you are spreading now that you know is white supremacist propaganda look through their and you know these uh simple-minded uh you know white evangelical christians um <laughs> that extremely low brow or low intelligence they only need a little bit of an excuse to go out and commit a certain act of you know uh, a racially motivated act all right the n-words are acting up so let's get we let's we gonna get them before they get us and that <laughs> I, I believe any at, at any given point all right it is due whether it is because of this election whether it's because of things of this nature you know sneaky underhanded tactics it doesn't matter it has to happen right it's already prophesied uh, the angel the lord uh, the angel that the lord sent to show ezra uh, the visions it already prophesied in second ezra 13 and where it talks about uh, how things would unfold you know neighbor against neighbor and and men invading each other's households right not being going not being able to go into another city because uh, martial law being declared everything up until uh the missile strike all of that has already been prophesied okay this place will fall from within just as the bible says and then and, and i said in my video yesterday there's a dnr uh, uh order from on high there's a D do not resuscitate okay so also because i mentioned that there are many different ways to do these tactics okay so ai is just one new thing but i want to show you this because these are legitimate reports there is a legitimate not a that there are many legitimate reports about um like uh chicago and detroit uh, uh the these random acts of violence that happened and then you can never find who the who the killer was or who the perpetrator was or how they just happened to catch these robberies on camera but they never find the person right all they show is oh it was a black person it was a so-called black man now this is a i've searched i could not find the verbiage but this is as close as i can get it's almost like it's scrubbed off of youtube but um this is realistic black man silicone mask now this was eight years ago and I can't find the other videos that are newer that have the the technology has even more advanced. But this was eight years ago.
Now, at at first glance, now if you see the hand in the uh, in the in the reflection of the glasses right there, you see that that pale that pale eating my hand. You see, um, <laughs> you know it's a mask, so it doesn't. You know, psychologically, you're you're you can see kind of you know the, the discrepancies there, uh, and you know it's a mask. But say you are gunshots rang out you're in the store you're trying to get out of the way you're in a panic and you're not gonna notice that in that certain situation and these are the things that these devils do man so let's get one more uh uh it uh, can an ethiopian change his color jeremiah 13 13 and 23 can the ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spot then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil that is these devils if we're gonna link this scripture to anything we're gonna link it to them at this point in time there is nothing new under the sun all right and they have the same old tactics as well they've been doing this since since just with different avenues all right the 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 uh, approach is the same even if the vehicle changes all right they take the same road even if the vehicle change that may be the title of this video the same road is taken doesn't matter if the vehicle changes or not whether it's on horse and carriage up until uh, now where you have you know highly sophisticated technology the vehicle changes but the road travel stayed the same <laughs> All right, let's see what else she got. Count through the stories. What do you notice? Why are they trying to feed you story after story after story of racial violence? And you might think, well, I saw the story. I was moved emotionally. I thought it was compelling. I would never carry out violence because you're a mentally healthy individual. But the world is full of individuals that are not mentally healthy. Yeah, did I not just say that? Those, those uh, uh, good old boys. And with this person, with the creator of this account is trying to do is manipulate people. Please do not aid them in this endeavor. And if you're somebody that fell for one of these stories, don't feel too bad. It's easy to get swept away when somebody is crafting these with faces that look real, with stories that are moving. But for the love of God, please. All right, so also, that's a, a, a something to point out that for those of us who do videos and, you know, cover some of these stories, do your due diligence. Wait a couple of days for it to come out. And if you can tell, man, a lot of the, when they have these stories, they look exactly the same. You've seen white supremacists. They look exactly the same, all right? That lady looks like an AI image. So, and the story was, I guess, um, two white boys parked in a handicapped spot. She needed it. They, She waited outside for almost two hours for them to come out. And when she came out, or when they came out, she asked, are you handicapped? They said no. She shot them both in the legs and then drove off, went on a police chase, and then... Uh, <laughs> When they finally caught her and pulled her over and she said, I'm tired of white people. Now they use the legitimate plight and and and, and generate these crazy stories. Okay. Um another thing that you can look into if you have not watched is the boys uh on Amazon Prime. Um specifically I'm speaking on season four. There is a very, very, very accurate depiction of how they manipulate the minds of people through the enchantments of the news and and how they spread <laughs> stories. Um, they spread a lot of fake stories to and with with sprinkled in with a little bit of the truth, just to get com people just to get people confused. So you know, um, you know, they, they got the Alex Jones effect kind of thing going on, and then they got the Antifa. Uh, you know the left versus the right um, they have all of that in there that's something you really need to watch and of course one of the main characters in there you know is a so-called black woman a so-called judite dreadhead black woman um, she with jocta's in her head um, she's the smartest person on earth and you know her skill set i guess her superpower isn't anything physical and the only way to kill her is to shoot her in the heart. Um, but she is the brains behind the manipulation 
and and I don't want to give too much away. You need to watch it. But she's basically the brains behind the manipulation, and it's just, it just goes back to Eve and, and the serpent all over again, working together. Um, uh, what was I getting? Oh yes, and we'll end it here because you know, ten, fifteen years ago, all of this would have worked, <clears throat> but. Uh, you know, since the truth is gone out and, and, and the Lord has put that spirit of these devils uh, to, you know, their tongues to fall upon themselves, the scriptures paraphrase, or I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture. Um, all of that is coming out. They're going to put a block on this Internet. OK, so that's going to lead to the famine of the word and, and also going to lead to uh, push the uh, I'm sorry, cancel out the. The way to hear any other news that speaks against their narrative. All you will have is what they say. Okay. And that's how they want it. But it ain't going to last, man. All of this this mess that they're doing ain't going to work. I mean, it will for a little bit. But at the end of the road, at the end of the day, right? We understand. We have the playbook. We know how this thing ends, right? And it ends with... Uh, this devil licking the dust, you know, because there is no throne. And actually, I might, man, let's get that. It's, uh, after this, though, hold on. Because this falls in line with it anyway. All right, Isaiah 47 and 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou that, be thou shall be able to profit. If so, be thou shalt be able to profit. Man, that was a tongue twister. If so, be thou mayest prevail. But, you know, they can't. The Lord's taunting. Uh, I said I was... I hate when I do that. Man, let me... Uh, uh, what was I saying? There it is. Sit thou in the dust. That's what we need. Well, dang, I was already there. I, man, call hello, you how about me outside? All right, <laughs> let's go at the top. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover thy locks and make bare thy legs. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, and we are seeing that. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. And that is yeah, Isaiah prophesying how Yahweh yeah, is going to return and get rid of all of this. Shut it all down. They're going to smack the controller out of these devil's hands, and an order will be restored. And anybody telling you any different, anybody mocking you, talking about you waiting on a quote unquote sky daddy to come save you or you waiting on a fictional being to come save you. Hey, man, let them talk. Because the I told you so is going to be sweet, the sweetest, sweetest honey you've ever tasted cannot compare to the how sweet the I told you so was going to be. So hold on to that. All right. Maintain your faith and, uh, you know, stand firm and stand tall for the word. So with that being said, Shalom.